hope uh, this makeup tutorial you'll find it easy and you'll definitely try it out for all yourselves and yeah so without wasting much time in the introduction let's start with the video so for the very first thing I have already done is I have already cleansed my um, face and uh, I have applied my toner already as you can see so the first the next step would be I'll just go in with my moisturizer so for so my for moisturizer I'll be using my all-time favorite Lakme absolute so I'll just uh, dot it everywhere on my face I won't be taking much because it's summertime and I don't generally go in with the mattifying products because my skin itself is very dry so I won't be going in with anything which will make my skin mattified. Then the next step will be primer. But I, since I won't be going out in this situation, so I won't be applying primer. I won't be using my sunscreen. And you all know that I use my sunscreen which is La Shield SPF 40 as my primer but uh, today I am not using it so when you will go out you will definitely need to add a primer after you moisturize your skin. So now just assume that my primer is done and uh, when my primer is done um, I'll then move I'll just uh, wait for the rest of the product to sit on my face. This is a very easy and simple daytime makeup tutorial so I won't be doing much here. I'll The next step is I'll just powder my face. I'll take a fluffy brush and uh, I'll just powder my face and not the entire face. I'll just leave a few areas where I want the glow to remain. I'll just put it around my eyes because I'll be going in with a bit of eyeshadow because I want to cancel out all the oiliness or the greasiness whichever is there around my eyes. My wet and wild rose in the air palette and since it's a daytime look again I'll be going in with a very light shade. Um, I'll just put a light warm color in my crease but before that I am just uh, taking a white color shade it's number two from this palette and I'll just pack a bit of color and I'll erase out any greasiness in there so I'll just kind of make my eyelids matte and now I'll take a the first transition color which is one and I'll put it as my transition take time to blend your eyeshadows don't go in too quick start your makeup early so that you don't have to rush towards the end I'll go in with a bit more since it's a daytime look keep in mind I won't be going in with extra things I'll just use two shades maybe yeah so my crease looks well defined now I'll go in with a orangey color this is and I'll dust off the excess the sixth shade I'll go in I'll again go in with the same color in the crease as well as on the entire eyelid so I'll sort of diffuse the crease color with this number six not leaving any harsh lines or harsh edges I'll put the eyeshadow on my entire crease area 
I just pack on a more a bit more of color to intensify the orange eyeshadow. Now I feel it's done. With shade number four, I'll just apply this in the inner corner. I'll just place the color there. I'll take some more. And um, yeah, I feel it's good. I'll just take a shimmer shade. It is number three. And I'll just pat it lightly everywhere. For just a glistening effect. On my entire eyelid. I'll not leave any area. So this is how my eye looks. Bring a bit of the brown color halfway through. And just bring halfway through that color. And uh, if you want to intensify, you can just add a bit of dark color outwards in your outer V, but you have to blend things really well. So I'm actually going in with a bit of dark color to show how you have to do things. Yeah, and. Um, That's it. I'm done. So now I'll just take my eyelash curler and I'll be curling my eyelashes. Don't hurt your, can you see the instant lift? So now I'll just take my eyeliner and I'll be drawing, I'll just make my eyeliner now. I'm happy. I'm happy with both my eyes and uh, now I'll be applying my mascara. I'll go in with the mascara for the lower lashes as well. So the mascara and uh, my lower lash line as well as my upper lash line is done. I'll be back doing my eyebrows. I'm back doing my eyebrows. And now the last thing which is left for this look is my lipstick. So for my lipstick, I'll be using 
two colors today one is from Nika this is a very pinkish uh, color this is the walk the walk I'll just apply it So guys, I'm back and uh, this is the final makeup look. I hope you liked the video. Like, share and subscribe to my channel. Make sure you hit the bell icon so that you never miss any updates from my videos. So yeah, I hope you like this. Uh, make sure you recreate this and if you do, let me know. Tag me in Instagram. My Instagram handle is qdpie.au. So take care, stay safe, stay at home and I'll be back with another video. Bye bye.